Hello, my Cancers, and welcome to Divine Dance Destiny with Debbie. And yes, I am Debbie. What we're doing, what we're doing today, besides trying to speak, is we're doing our readings for March 10th, 11th, and 12th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I've done an overview about Watch the Money again, because there is that one card that keeps popping up every so often. So we will see what we have to see. Um, talk about some of the changes, which we're kind of in a quiet phase, though things are moving. But at the same time, that is also when I tell you that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? So it's interesting stuff going on. I think that this time should be giving, you know, this weekend or this time is something that you really need to come out of your shell, come out of your metamorphosis, um, I, you know, come out of your cocoon. I really think this is a time for my cancers to rise and shine. You have been heading that way and you continue to head that way. I, I want to see you, um, I want to see you just live life, you know, just grab and live life, grab onto it a little bit more maybe this weekend. Of course, you know, it, it's just, it's one of those live large type of weekends, I feel, for you, my Cancer. So let's see. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else would you like to say for our Cancers? What else do you want to say for our Cancers? I mean, let's see. Let's see. Not telling you, of course, never telling you to quit your job or anything like that. It's more, it's more a sense of just enjoying enjoying yourself a little bit more and let's see what's what do we have for you what do we have for you again i get this live large live large and enjoy i think that's what we what it's all about for you my cancers and that's okay to do it is okay without the planning and the stress and all that just embrace okay first card is well this is the queen of air now the queen's underlying energy is your energy, water energy. You know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, psychic energy, warm energy, loving energy. You know, very spiritual energy. The air energy is, again, our Aquarius. It's our Gemini and Libra. Aquarius and Gemini still have some, you know, Aquarius is still still has some game, okay? You know, just has just, Saturn's just left but as getting ready for that Pluto, um, you know, so the Aquarius energy is coming up with some new ideas. That Mars in Gemini is kind of pushing you forward, and Libra energy just wants everything to get all balanced out and just, you know, balancing those emotions with your thoughts. So this is thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. The Queen of Air, kind of like, you know, like I, I maybe what I was talking about would have been more like the Queen of Fire, you know, embracing that, you know, embracing, spreading your wings. But the Queen of Air says you can still do that, but you need to be a little clearer in what you want, okay? So it's not going all willy-nilly. It's not just saying, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to enjoy myself this weekend. The Queen of Air says you can definitely do that. You just need to make sure that you are aware that you're, you know, that you are taking you know that you're thinking things through you're not necessarily um you know you're not necessarily just jumping in and you know and without knowing how to swim okay so the queen of air is independent experienced realistic and witty and i do love how she looks to that future so what she's doing this weekend will also be what she you know will also be something that's going to be affecting her future so kind of you know if you're doing something on the foolish side it could come back to bite your butt uh or but if you're doing something very strategically you know you're maybe you're maybe you're trying for that job that you just say there's no way i'm ever going to get it i don't have the qualifications but you know what i'm going to try and i'm going to take that first step now and kind of look into that sense of what am i going to be doing and where do i want to be and again, it, it, I do get that real, that, you know, follow, jump, follow, follow your dreams. So the Queen of Airs, though, all about objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you. So it's getting rid of a lot of old tapes in your head. 
or or maybe you know videos in your head it's getting it's you know it's clearing away all that does not mean it you know that that's really then been holding you back okay but also seeing the humor in a situation and when you're when you're releasing and relinquishing especially things that um you know have been fearful or have been harsh when you can start to laugh at laugh about those situations it really elevates your it elevates your vibrations okay next card is the four of fire now pisces got the four of fire also so if you have any pisces in you and we have a lot of pisces energy going on right now so four has stability organization and leadership fire is our fire energy it's our aries leo and sagittarius Aries is the one right now that has Jupiter and Venus, very positive energies in its sign. So there is this very positive energy that's pushing you forward. Uh, fire is our, you know, commitment. It's our passion. It's our burning, you know, desires. It's what we really, really want to do. But this is also about completion. This is also about having a sense of worth and uh, having a sense of i i am deserved i am you know i am worthy i deserve i have been through a lot of situations and come back come out of it the victor i am victorious also for a fire has a completion energy to it um you know and i say i'll always say this you know four of wands is you know you've gone to college you've gone to school you've gone to training and you've come out on the other side, you've now graduated, so it's now time for your next step. You know, you've, you've been engaged, you get married. So it's a sense of completion, and it's a sense of really where you should be very proud of where you've been and how you've gotten there, okay? So, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project, so I kind of feel that this, well, I mean, these two are, do have a connection with it, you know, thinking clearly, thinking things through, but I do feel like with this, there's an, there's an ending and it's one that, you know, you can just say, I've done a really good job. I, I got through this. I am victorious. Okay. Next card is the six of air. So now we have a four and a six. Or a six four six is the number of man the energy you put into something air is our sword energy um, again it is the energies I just told you about your thought processes thinking things through so whatever this is again you should be you know this is where you need to look at all that you've accomplished my cancers where were you when you know when we started doing this in 2018 you know you four to five years you have come so far and though your journey has not been an easy journey, this is a weekend where you really need to celebrate who you are and celebrate celebrate how far you have come. Really look at where you're at now compared to where you once were. And that's if you've been following me since that time. But if you haven't, then look at yourself from last year to two years. Look at yourself how far you've come and just know that there is, there is a more opening up there is more light to shine, okay? So, six of air, this is where, you know, the woman and the child um, are in the boat and, you know, being, being you know, you know, I, you know, however that is, the gondola with the stick, the man with the stick. And, you know, the man with the stick is guiding the boat. And, you know, and so he's taking care of bringing this, you know, precious cargo to the shore to that to the next place and with that is you know turning your back turning your back and going into something new things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip a lot of times this is also the light at the end of the tunnel so it's a good so look at how far you've come and you you're still you're still headed to something even better okay okay so now let's see what else we have here. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Oh, higher power. What else would you like to say for our cancers? What else would be good for our cancers to know? What else would be good for our cancers to know? 
fertility. Fertility. So now we have a three. So we have a four, six, three, three, six, four. Three is celebration, creation. It's also the power of three. Fertility, this is actually the empress energy. Many people, you know, I feel that this is a divine, feminine divine energy. Um, you know, it, it's also mother nature energy. It's a growth process. Things are still to come. There is more to come. We do have a lot of um, energy with the sh um, heart chakra. There's a lot of caring. There's a lot of love. We have this circle. What goes around comes around. We have this hands that want to provide. The Empress wants to give you wonderful energies, wants to give you um, so many more possibilities. The Empress is all about providing. Now, the Empress is also very creative, so it's kind of like if this doesn't quite suit you, then maybe we'll go into something else. Now, you do have, and I, I kind of get this, you know, we have this feminine energy, we have this feminine energy. So there is a lot of feminine energy, so there is a lot of creative energy, but it doesn't mean that, you know, the Queen of Air does think with her, does think with her brain, does think with her head a little bit. So it's really, this is a time where you need to look at yourself, how far you've come, but then there is more to come for you also. So this is lovely energy that I would just say, I would accept, I would just go out and say, you know, Holy Spirit, thank you, and I accept, I claim all the good energies, all the good possibilities you want to provide for me, okay? So let's see what else we have. Angels of Abundance, what do you have for our Cancers? What do you have for our Cancers? Angels of Abundance, Cancers. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What do we have here? Organize for success. This pops up every so often. And that kind of goes back to that queen of air. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. So, Empress, fertility, wants to provide, wants to give you a new opportunity, wants to give you some abundance. Um, this kind of goes back to that, you know, the definition of luck is um, preparation to meet opportunity. And there is, you know, part of this is, you know, you need to be a little bit more organized in what it is you want, have a little bit more. And remember, too, Saturn and Pisces really is saying to you, you have to be a little more focused on where and what where you are where you're going and what you want okay so this is also a focus card too so interesting there is transition always transition always growth more to come it's a good energy it's a good um kind of it's a good um i don't know it's not a turnstile but it's a good it's a good um i don't know path to go on it's a good open door i don't know Turnstile, maybe that is a turnstile. Okay, but no, you don't go backwards. You're going forward. You're going forward and you're feeling more secure about where you're at so that you can go into that scarier time um, without feeling worried about it. Does that make sense? Okay, here we go. Because change is scary. Change is, you know, change is always a little bit scary, but you'll welcome it. You're going to welcome it now. Okay. Let's see what crystal or energy we have for our cancers here. Red Jasper, nurture, determination, relaxing, tranquility. Okay, I like it. So Queen of Air, objective, four of fire, you've gone through and come through so much. Six of Air, there is still more to your journey. Fertility wants to provide for you. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, let's go on now. <laughs> Get ready, my Cancers. More to come, as always. All right, please take a moment to support my channel. And how you can do that is go down and like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. If you are on Rumble, then please Rumble me. 
As always, though, my Cancers, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.